Hey what's going on guys, it is Hunter from Gaming by Gamers and today I'm going to be showing you how to do the green screen in Halo 4 in the Master Chief Collection so you can have weird scenes like this, or like this even, or just the normal. So let's jump right in. Step number one, make the green screen. So first thing you're going to do is load up Halo, go to multiplayer, go to Forge, Halo 4, and then you're going to scroll all the way down until you get to Forge Island. All the rest of this can be default, it does not matter. Start start up your game. I'm just going to skip the loading screen, go right into it. Alright, so here we are now, we're going to fly out here. You're going to go into the Forge menu. You pick green screen, which is under Scenery, and then Forge Island. I'm sorry I didn't include that. And uh, for this shot right here, we're just going to use four walls. So we're going to duplicate and line it up with magnets. And duplicate. Put another wall here. Magnets are pretty good in this game. Put another wall here. And uh, actually mess that up. It is really hard to see because there's no, the edges are not, like, it, it's, 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 there's no reflection, there's no nothing. It's green and that's it. So now we have green screen. And right now we're going to run, as I'm up against the wall, and I'm just going to act my scene out right here. So for this scene I'm just going to shoot... All right, that should be good. Now on to step two, we're gonna film it. So go into theater, load up the clip, and uh, for this scene, a uh, good thing about the green screen, you can do it any direction, whatever. And uh, for this scene, I'm gonna have the it on his right side, and since there's only one person in the shot, we're not gonna use a wide angle. We get nice up and close, that looks cool. That'll be good for many things, I can use that a lot. So just get the shot, and there we go. Now we're into step three, the final step, edit the shot. So you're gonna lo go on your computer, load up Adobe After Effects, load it up, it takes a little bit. I'm using CC, this works for CS6, and I believe CS5 has a built-in as well. The thing I'm talking about built-in is a key light. That is what we're gonna be using, the effect we're gonna be using. And, uh, Load it up, da 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 da. Adobe, please, why you take so long? Uh, we're just gonna close out of this. Uh, Control I to import. And uh, I just have mine labeled as background and main. So bring your two clips in. So you have your actual green screen scene and then whatever you want in the background. And drag that in so you make a new composition. And we're just going to play it just to make sure we have the right clip and everything's good. Looking good so far, nothing wrong with the clip. Yep, this is what we want. Alright, so we're going to pause it. We're going to go to effects and preset, go all the way down to keying, and then find key light 1.2. Put that on main. Now we're going to grab the magnifying glass. We're going to zoom in real close really close and then you want to grab the dropper and get it as close as you can alright I grabbed it and we're going to go back to fit so it's all good then we're going to change this to screen mat and you can see it's transparent so we're going to go down to screen mat change our color white to 75 and he's still got a little a little uh, shadow at the kind of bottom left so we're going to turn the clip black to 2 and that makes it nice and crisp but, 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 the game, let's, uh, let's look at the final result. It looks good, but it's, the game needs to have at least one so it looks more game-like, because it's not as crisp in-game. So the lighting, all right, we're good with that. And then we're going to throw our background on. And that's it, congratulations, you've made a green screen. As many times, we're just going to load it, make sure it's all good. Looks good so far. Eh, 
This is, it's pretty easy to make, and I'm glad 343 de decided to put this in. I wish they put it in Halo 2 Anniversary. That's too long, so I'm just going to drag that back and then drag the composition time back. And then I'm going to go to the top and composition, trim comp to work area. There we go. Let's play it back again. Cool, cool, cool. Everything's looking good. All right. Well, that was simple enough. Now let's just go to composition, add to render queue, uh, change that to quick time and then go to format options and make sure you're on h26 h.264 quality 100 because it'll make an mp4 format and i'm just going to save it as done and we're going to hit render and let's see what we have Alright, looks good. See you guys later. Thanks for watching. If you like that video, why don't you uh, click over here for this video, or, or maybe click over here for this video, or just click my face and subscribe, but that video looks pretty good.